Hello, in this video I'd like to explain how to create relationships between two data extensions on multiple fields in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Basically how to create a join not uh, using one field but actually using two, using SQL and deselect. So why would you need this functionality? Uh, we would say that even though company, your company may follow the guidelines for data models and pay extra attention to the data structure, it is rare that one size fits all can work uh, in the situation with the data management and the data structure. Uh, that's why you might need to know various advanced segmentation techniques that you can apply to your specific data model using either code or a non-code segmentation solution for Salesforce Marketing Cloud Deselect. So in our scenario, we're going to look at the insurance sector and uh, it uh, example will require using relationships uh, on multiple fields for their data extensions. So in our example, we are using data extension called contracts and also a contact data extension. In particular, we would like to find individuals who are a part of the household, but they also have another type of insurance uh, outside of their household. Maybe they have their own private insurance too. However, the difficulty is that we don't have an account data extensions perhaps due to the data structure or the organization. So we need to use the above mentioned DEs, contracts and contacts, and create a relationship between them uh, on multiple fields. So we're going to create a relationship between them based on the household ID and the field with the contact ID. An email address field in this situation can also work in case you use it as a subscriber key to identify your unique subscriber. And in our case, we use contact ID to differentiate the individual subscribers and contacts. That way, we're going to find out only those individuals who have the household insurance. So here you can see the result in SQL query for the following scenario. You can see that we are creating an inner join between two data extensions, context and contract, based on the household ID, and uh, we are using the contact ID. So the own functionality in the inner join is basically allowing us to create a relationship on multiple fields. But how uh, is it to recreate the same scenario, but now not using code, but a segmentation solution like deselect? So aside from writing SQL query, if you want to use the out-of-the-box marketing cloud functionality, you would also need to create separately a data extension for your uh, scenario. And this results into a lot of time spending on this uh, activity. Uh, in order to eliminate this time, you can also use tools such as Deselect. Uh, Deselect is an app that can be found under App Exchange here. After clicking there, you will be redirected to this overview screen. From here, we're going to create our new selection. We're going to provide a name for our new selection. We're going to call it um, Insurance Multiple DEs, just for the uh, sake of this example. Next, on the left, we see all the available data extensions. From here, we're going to find our insurance uh, contacts and drag and drop this data extension to the right. We can provide an alias for this data extension, but we're going to save this as it is. On top of the contacts, we're going to drag and drop another data extension contract and press save. Here we can create a relationship between those two data extensions. So from our uh, insurance context, we're going to find household ID, choose a so-called inner join that here is visually presented. So insurance context with matching insurance contracts, also on household ID. And here we can click add relationship and we're going to add another relationship, which will be ID in case of insurance context equals 
contact ID from insurance contracts. That way we will find only those individuals who have the household ID and press save. So that's simple. Next we can move on to our target definition and we can actually create data extension right here on the fly. So we're going to call it also insurance multiple DEs. We can choose the location, if it's sendable or testable, we can provide retention policy and press save. Next, we're going to choose the fields that we would like to see in our target data extension. We can choose the fields from our source DEs. For instance, we would like to have first name and email from our contact uh, DE and let's press save. Of course, uh, in your example, you can choose as many fields as you want. Next, we are going to move on to our last step, which is preview and press run preview. So the preview will bring us back the first 20 results out of our final uh, selection. And if we're satisfied with the results, we can always press run and the selection will run inside Salesforce Marketing Cloud and the data extension will be populated with the result. However, if we're not satisfied with the result that we're seeing, we can always go back from this step and uh, do the necessary changes to our selection. So now we see that we have 20 records out of 40 records in total. We have first name and email. We can also here see the SQL query that resulted from our selection creation. And that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it useful. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also subscribe to our newsletter, the link to which can be found in the description to this video. So you never miss out on SFMC tips and tricks and DCLX updates. Bye.